KCC, aka Kindle Comic Converter, is a comic and manga converter for ebook readers. But don't be fooled by its name, it also supports Kobos and any other e-ink devices. Uh, Kindles, with their black and white e-ink screens, are perfect fits for black and white comics like manga. So let's go ahead and figure out how to use this. So first off, uh, you just go to, to the website, it's here on GitHub, and you just scroll down, scroll down to the downloads page, and then you click it. And then you go to the latest release, it looks like it's version 5.7.0. Make sure you read the release notes to see what changes. And you just go ahead and go to the assets folder, and then you can see all the different downloads we have. Uh, for Windows, you want kcc.exe, but if you have a Mac OS or Apple Silicon or Intel, then you have these ones, and you got Linux app images there. So go ahead and download it, and I've gone ahead and downloaded it already here. So kcc.5.6.5. Uh, but you'll also need a couple things more to download. You'll need to download some prerequisites. You'll want 7-zip, so go ahead and go to the 7-zip website and download it, you'll need the 64-bit version. Okay, it's very important that you need the 64-bit version. Go ahead and download and install it. And as well, no, you can also use it, you can also download using WinGet if you know how to use that. And it's very important, you got download 64-bit version and install it on the C drive, very important. Uh, for Kindle Gen, you'll also need to download Kindle Previewer. Uh, you just go ahead, scroll down, you can find the download links for Windows and Mac there, you just download and install it. And once again, it's very important. You expect it to be installed on the C drives. That's very important. So go ahead and download you those two installers. I already had them pre-installed it. Just click it. Click yes. And once again, I want to emphasize you need to download it on the C drive, okay? On the C drive. And once you download it, you just run kcc.5.6.5. And once you do that, then you'll have the then you'll be introduced to the KCC UI. So it's pretty straightforward how to use it. You just drag in your comic book file. In this case, it's just a folder of images, but we also support uh, CBZ, CBR, CB, even CB7. And then sort image formats are like JPEG, PNG, GIF, or whatever. Uh, all these options have more information if you hover over them. Uh, this one's probably the most important one. You have the current Kindle models and the current Kobo models, and you can just scroll down to see all the other models as well. I have a Kindle scrap, so that's what I'll be using. and and these are the settings I usually use. I usually just click convert. And the output format is Mobi. So let's just go ahead and convert it. Just wait for the conversion to finish. So this won't take too long. This is very CPU dependent, so a faster computer will convert faster. But once it's done, then you have a nice image folder in a book file. Uh, this will be a dot, the output format is dot Mobi. So once you're done with that, then you just plug in your Kindle via USB and drag the image folder into the documents folder. Uh, yep, and then you just replace the file in the destination. I already com uh, copied it in there before. But it's also pretty important. If you leave your Kindle plugged in during the conversion, then it'll upload the cover. And that's pretty cool. If you don't want to upload the if if you don't want to plug it in while uploading, then you can also just uh, check out this thing that will has instructions for how to upload covers without it being plugged in. But yeah, uh, that's basically how you use Kindle Comic Converter to put manga on your Kindle. It's, it's pretty straightforward. I guess we can go over some of these options real quick. Uh, you have manga mode, left to right reading, webtoon mode, margin mode, uh, output format mode. Uh, here's a gotcha. If you PNG is pretty glitchy on Kindle Scribe, so don't use, don't use it. In fact, there are some bugs related to PNG in general for Kindles, so I recommend you don't use PNG for Kindles. Uh, spread splitter, this is just different ways to handle uh, two-page spreads for your manga. Uh, some other options, stretching and upscaling if you want to do that. Some splitting options, other options, panel view. Uh, this, this option is kind of buggy, so I don't recommend using it. It'll slow you down. Custom gamma, oh, this one's pretty important. Uh, custom Gamma, this is basically a non-linear darkening, uh, TLDR, you can research for yourself. But basically you either want to leave this unchecked or set it to 1.0. 1.0 will limit uh, image, op image darkening. So that's what you want. So some manga it looks better like that. And yeah, that's basically it. Remember the website is on GitHub here. If you have questions, 
uh, you can either check out the issues tab here uh, there's lots of people asking questions here if you have a question then it's probably been already asked here and if you want something a little more informal then you can go ahead and go to the forum here uh, this is the forum it's on mobile read it's a pretty popular forum for talking about ebook readers and if you feel really generous uh, feel free to donate to the original authors uh, they have uh, donation links right over here and yeah that's basically how to use Kindle Comic Converter pretty straightforward just convert it and drag it into the documents folder on your Kindle uh, if you like this sort of content please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching